1st of January. So a happy new year again. And I hope that everybody had a lovely, lovely evening. And if you've caught up on yesterday's vlog, you will realize that all of a sudden I had to rush it through to get it uploaded because I got a phone call about seven o'clock saying, would you like to come for a curry and games for Melanie and her husband? Of course I said yes. And I didn't get home till my body clock seems to say half past six wake up so without fail half past six I was wide awake so it's a good job I'd arranged to go running with Rachel isn't it so there you go I'm going running with Rachel and it is a beautiful morning it's sunny it's 13 degrees <laughs> 13 degrees tan bonita y ella siempre se ha parecido a Yema y ya y por la calle con su ropa azul camina Isn't it just a glorious morning? I mean, it, it was so mild last night I was so, so high the windows open but we have been told that it is going to get cold by Tuesday which is great just when we go back to school just when we go back to school when we have to have the rooms ventilated because of COVID. Hey ho. So park run, uh, at the moment I've decided to take a park run break. So I'm not doing park run at the moment because of the numbers. There's, um, last week on Christmas Day, we had 500 at York Park Run. We decided not to go because we thought the numbers would be high. And yet again for this week, I've decided not to go. Um, I do have um, quite bad asthma, which is very controlled. chocolate Brazil nuts. Grandma always had chocolate Brazil nuts and Simon and Grandma were like this. So um, that's why they had chocolate Brazil nuts. Anyhow I am nearly at Rachel's and I've not got any activity but I was wondering if somebody in the back when I put the indicator on. No, no, no activity yet. No activity yet. Oh wait, wait a minute. Yeah, Maggie's up. Can you see her? I don't think you can. Oh, you can't see her. Oh, they're both up. <laughs> they know where they're going, but they're not going into Rachel's house. There are too many Christmas trees. It's all very beautiful, but it is not poppy and Maggie friendly. Oh no. And not when Piper wants to play. <laughs> it's just not safe. 
until I'm not going to be responsible for a Christmas tree going over. I shall remove my hounds from the location. So here we are. Rachel knows I'm coming. I text her. Oh, look, Martin's got the estate gates shut. Right. There we go. Up we go. Park across the front of the gate. There we are. And Poppy and Maggie will be going in the car when we get back from our run because they're not going in the house. We're on our run. And look where I am. I'm at the famous Cowick Bug Hotel. And I don't actually know if there's any residents or whether it's still too new and they're still snagging. So the bugs might be sort of sending messages back to the ground staff and saying, you know, this needs seeing to. Happy New Year, my dear. You're on. Oh, hello. <laughs> Piper's got other ideas. Happy New Year, Rachel. Happy New Year, everybody. So, right, let's keep going. A bit more now. Broken Piper is absolutely out for the count. <laughs> Poor dog. Yes, you. We're talking to him. He can't keep his eyes open. Bless him. You won now, Piper. Have you had a birthday? It is. We got a birthday one as well. Yeah. <laughs> we sang happy birthday to him on the wrong day. On the 28th. You did what, <laughs> Rachel? We got his birthday wrong. We sang happy birthday to him on the 28th, right? Gave him Christmas dinner and everything. And then on the 29th, our breeder messaged us and said, happy birthday, Piper. Lots of love. Did you oh, get no. two birthdays, so he got Piper? two birthdays. He's royal, aren't you? <laughs> two birthdays. <laughs> so it was actually the 29th, not the 28th. And two consecutive days. <laughs> well, we have consecutive birthdays in our house with the dogs. Dear. Yes, because Poppy's is the 13th of April and Maggie's is the 14th. And we'll leave you, Piper. To right, so here is Poppy, who is sitting very patiently. Now you, back up. No, come on, up here. Now sit. Now they both have to sit there until I release them. And when they are released, they come down to here and they will eat and they know which side to go on. They've never, ever got it wrong. Maggie, let me bring it over here. That was a remote control for the television. Let it out. Maggie will have this one, and Poppy will have this one. But Maggie is now moved back. Now they're very excited because they have got wet dog food, and they don't get it very often. Poppy is still looking very tired. I think she's still broken from yesterday. But Maggie needs to sleep more, especially after the this afternoon when she wasn't feeling too well. Right, wait, watch this. Wait. 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 Poppy sit. Okay. Here ends the show. So we're on to eight maids are milking today. And here is the rest of my beautiful quilt. Eight maids are milking. And then to correspond with on the 12 days of Christmas, I've got my true love gave to me. Here I've got nine ladies dancing, 10 lords are leaping, 11 pipers piping, and 12 drummers drumming. And what I did was I got the designs um, from, oh, one of the online embroidery um, providers. It will either have been Embroidery Designs or EMB Library, one of those, because I find those very, very easy to use. So let me just go round to today and see if I can zoom in for you. And I think this is a quilt at the moment that really won't be out as such. It's really ready for when I've got grandchildren because I said to Hannah, I really don't know what to do with it. And she said, it's for when you've got grandchildren, Mum. you've made it in advance. Now what I'm looking at at the moment is finding something that will make this very first block that goes into the corner. Because as much as I like this one, I don't think it's in the right place. I think it needs to be further down. This one would probably go better sat next to this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out 
my new rotary cutter. My cutting board, which is a small one. Uh, the block that would go in the corner that's nice and pale. And I've left the book in the living room. Because the one that goes in the corner will then have an extra little block by the side. So whichever I do, this big block, which is this block of four little squares, will then have the same square made of the same fabrics either side. So I'm going to pop one more my kitchen a basket and I just looked down and I thought I saw some of this which I absolutely love and I am going to make another block I'm currently doing pinks I am going to carry on pinning blocks together I've also found an absolute load of this plain white blender I found this is a really a Christmas fabric so I'm not going to include that but I found some fat quarters here that I got at the festival of quilts and I've got a pack of blenders here that I picked up from socializing I had some of that gorgeous Tudor pink banana fabric but I might very well have been imagining that unless I have got it and I've hidden it somewhere else so now I have got a plain red blender and some more blenders here. I've got these gorgeous fabrics which will work with some of the blenders that I've bought. I've got loads of the peachy orange colours. I absolutely, I mean I love these, these um, colours that I've got here. It, that's um, this one I'm holding up. I adore that and I think it will look um, wonderful with that and I know I've got it in already but I think it might just go in again because I like it and I don't think there's anything wrong with putting something in again but you know look at this that I could put that in anywhere it's amazing isn't it oh dear me oh heck and it's meant to be coloured across so much for a scrap quilt mind you I suppose it is a bit scrappy because I'm pulling things out now these these fat quarter bundles that I bought were definitely um, they were bought for this I don't know if I'm going to get any sewing done today because I'm certainly in sort of planning mode um, but we'll see how we do what I've done with this one as you saw this one um, is the one I'd like to get sewn up. That is the corner one. That will be the top corner of the quilt. And if I pull out the book. So this will be the top. Let me use a pencil. Oops. So I'll pop it in. What I've just cut out is a block that will form this part of the quilt here. So I've cut out four there, but I've also cut out an extra light one and an extra dark one. And I would like to get those sewn up tonight. These corner bits here, I have ordered some specific fabric for those from the Eclectic Maker. Oh dear, this is going to be a lot and a lot of thinking, but I am enjoying it. At the moment I'm working on three pink ones to go across there, but I could end up with more pink ones here and then have my orangey yellowy ones across here because obviously I've got more to go at and then you'll, you'll end up back down here with your purples. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? But um, I hope that gives you an idea. So this is what I'm thinking that whenever I get to an end f set of four, I need to do an extra one either being on with a dark or if it's at the other end 
Oh, I don't know whether that one's classed as dark or that one's classed as dark. Let's say it depends on these, this L shape. So that would be a light and that would be a dark because those are the predominant colours. So here I've got the light for here and the dark for here. So whatever I do for this one here, I have to make certain I have enough pieces to do that one. And let me just stop that. Here with this beautiful fabric, I might start using that as the infill for the corners. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can see it. Right, I'm going to have some dinner and I'm going to do a bit of editing because I've got rather absorbed in all of this. I think I need to go and clear my brain. Isn't it fun when you start to plan and ponder? <laughs> I've got myself in the living room. I'm all cosy with the hoodie on, but I'm gonna to have to take it off in a minute because I'm ever so hot. So I didn't do any sewing tonight, but I've pinned the block that's going to be the corner set of six little squares. So that's one big square and two little ones. Those pieces are there ready to sew. I will sew together the four and pin those onto the uh, map that I've got. And then I will put the two little side ones there as well. Now. The next one I've pinned out is this one here. And this is one of the pink ones, which I think will work better. I've just got a little bit of an issue here with some of the, um, of the floral fabric. Let's see if I can, there we go. This floral fabric, I've actually will have to join, depending whether I put it on the dark side or the light side. If I want it on the light side with the flowers being the light, I will have to make some more um, squares. I don't have enough and I'll have to do that by piecing them together. But it's a scrap quilt, that doesn't matter. So that's ready to go. And I don't know whether to go for a light pink row. So I've got this very pale pink, then I could have a light pink row, then I could have a darker pink row, and then I could go into the oranges. Such choices. But the, whichever set of four is on the end there will be a little one that matches in with that to go on the end next to it to keep a little bit of continuity so i've just started to take apart this one that i started that i'd sewn to partially sewn together because now i've got found all the blenders and i've bought blenders i am beginning to think this is a little bit over fussy and I've got a lot of these lovely oranges and browns that I could use, especially in the blenders. Um, but what I will say is, because I'm trying to do a rainbow effect across, I've got enough to do another quilt at the same time. This is ridiculous. I'm beginning to wonder whether I should join some of the squares together just randomly and see what happens. I'd end up with two quilts going simultaneously. Anyhow, I haven't talked about my plans sewing-wise for 2022. And I think I will do that in a separate vlog next weekend, um, just to sit down and a chat about what I'm going to do and put some of the quilt with it at the same time. I haven't quite decided where I want to go or whether I actually want to make any plans. Plenty of food for thought though. So, again, from my family to yours, the very happiest of New Year's. That brings me to the end of today's vlog. I'm really sorry I seem extremely tired but I've had quite an active day. Hannah's been over and I've had a sleep and Maggie had a little bit of um, an issue earlier on. I need to just double check with the massage lady but I think she had a bit of cramp because the poor thing she was just she was shaking so it obviously hurt and she was holding a leg and we it took an hour plus of cuddling I and mean, of course I was quite happy to do that. So hopefully tomorrow I'll be a little bit more awake. I'm aiming on having a lot more sleep. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, give me a like. If you would like to join me on my journey, hit that subscribe button underneath. And I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow.